it's really like a bike, but then again, not. We need these products for the future. Combustion engine over and out. And if it's made in Germany, all the better. I won! Today in this secretive garage, we're going to find out what happens when you pair a bicycle with a huge electrical engine. And because everybody worries about that, we're going to race it. And here it is, the E-Rocket, a marriage of motorcycle and e-bike. Ah, nice smooth roads, that's what I need with this thing. Ready, set, go! Woo! This thing flies off the mark. It's sort of really awkward to be driving a bicycle that goes 80 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Woo, there we go. I was really surprised to see how fast the E-Rocket actually is. <laughs> This thing is absolutely insane. E-Rocket is the name and also the mission. It was developed and produced in the outskirts of Berlin. And like every good idea, this one also begins with a personal story. It's about 10, 12 years ago, I was in Shanghai. I'm suffering from asthma. I know what it means uh, not being able to breathe properly. And I was in Shanghai on one side of the street, was not able to see the other side because of smog. From that point of view, it, it came into my mind. What can you do to make this planet cleaner? What can you make, what can you do to make the air cleaner? After years of tinkering and testing, he finally had the electrifying idea, an e-motorbike with pedals. You can also tell it's an electric motorbike because it weighs 120 kilos. And we have one unconventional thing right here. Motorbikes don't tend to come with pedals. We don't have the throttle grip that's been around on motorbikes for a hundred years. Instead, you pedal away. That's my throttle. Charging up the e-rocket is actually pretty easy. You take this charging device, which has a very practical plug. Here's the socket. And the other end you plug into a regular power socket. Charging time is five hours max. One full charge gives you a range of 120 kilometers with a top speed of almost 90 kilometers an hour. E-Rocket is also one of the startups being funded by the German Transportation Ministry. The manufacturer is based in Henningsdorf, just outside Berlin, and currently has plans to expand into India, a very welcome development for the government back home. We need to be bolder in Germany and give these startups the scope and space they need. And to give the made in Germany factor a boost in the field of electromobility, especially in the two wheeler sector. The e rocket sells for 12,000 euros in Germany and emits neither noise nor exhaust fumes. Truly a case of 100% emotion, 0% emissions. You have no shifting, no gear, so it's really perfect for city traffic. The pedaling takes really some getting used to it. And with a top speed of 90 km per hour, it can also go pretty fast. But the question is, how fast do we reach that 90 km per hour? Let's find out. Well, pretty fast. At a pace that 125cc gasoline engine motorbikes struggle to match, over a short distance at least. Although it does mean putting in some serious pedal power. It takes like uh, some effort to get up to speed. Uh, 
Yeah, you need to be uh, quite sporty. <sighs> We are not limited to the asphalt and to the street. We might see products on the water sooner or later. I have no doubt about this, because we need these products for the future. Combustion engine over and out. Sorry, folks. This can change everything, not only now in Berlin, Hamburg or Munich, in Paris or in Madrid, but also in Bangkok or in Shanghai. And if it's made in Germany, all the better. So all in all, I had a lot of fun with the E-Rocket. It's a nice bike, it's very nimble and it's fast. But would I pay 12,000 euros to ride it every day? Probably not. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel DWREF.